Orphan pages on a website are pages that are not linked to from any other page or section of your site. For crawlers like Screaming Frog, an orphan page is a page that cannot be found by crawling the internal links of a website from the start page. The thing for orphan pages is that since Google can't find them, they won't be crawled. Therefore, they can't rank. On the other hand, users might have trouble getting to these pages since they are not placed internally anywhere on your website, which means that these pages represent missed opportunities to acquire and engage customers. Often pages may exist for several reasons, such as poor navigation design or the presence of outdated removed URLs pointing to these pages. This indicates that the page previously had internal links pointing to it, but those links were subsequently eliminated. In order to address uh, these pages effectively, the first step is to locate them. In this video, I will guide you through the process of utilizing Screaming Frog and its API ability to connect with Google Analytics and Google Search, Con Search Console for identifying orphan pages. Basically, Screaming Frog performs a comparison between the list of crawled URLs and the URLs obtained from Analytics, Google Search Console, and the sitemap. If a URL is present in these resources, but absent from the list of crawlable URLs, it is then considered as an orphan page. This indicates that Screaming Frog was unable to discover the page while crawling and following links on your website. So let's now move to the practice section. So we said that we should first add the sitemap of, of the website and connect to the API for Google Analytics or GA4 if you want, and Google Search Console. So the website I'm using for this example is uh, my own demo website. So I'm gonna first need the, I'm gonna first need, for example, <clears throat> the sitemap. So not this. Okay, this is the web. How do we find the sitemap? Just click at the end of the URL, sitemap, sorry, sitemap index dots index dots dots xml. And you see that this sitemap was generated using the Yoast SEO uh, plugin for WordPress. Okay, let me now add it here. Configuration spider crawl link xml sitemap do not auto crawl this cover just crawl this sitemap if you can't find this sitemap for a a website because some website may use may use uh, weird url sitemaps then you can go to the robots.txt and then you should find sitemap red. Here's another example. Let's copy the sitemap and paste it in Screaming Frog because it's always good practice to add the sitemap in the robots.txt file. Now we should connect to the, okay, click okay. We should connect to the Google, you can, you can use GA4, but for, for this video, I'm going to use Google Universal Analytics. Just sign in. Uh, wait a little bit. Okay, this is my my email. If you want to hack my website, just go go ahead. I don't really need it. Okay, now I am failed. I failed. Connect. Okay, it's now available. It is connected to my Google Analytics via API abilities. Okay, all users. So you can here change, for example, the date range, past 30 days or past three months. My website is new, so I'm gonna leave it this way, that way. Metrics, no, dimension, and general. Here you should make sure to check this because this is required for the orphan URL filter in Google Analytics to uh, Analytics tab to work. Okay, just click okay. Then the same goes for 
Google Search Console. We should connect to our Google Search Console. Sign in. My account. Then allow it. Go back to Screaming Frog here in the search analytics. Make sure then to crawl new URLs discovered in Google Search Console. Okay, now that we have added the sitemap and connected to Google Analytics and Google Search Console, we can launch the crawl for this website. And meanwhile, we're going to make sure that the APIs are fully connected. Google Search Console and Google Analytics. Okay, let's now, now find about the orphan URLs. We should first uh, make a crawl analysis. Make sure to check the sitemap analytics and search console in order to find the orphan URLs. Just start and we go to where we are right now. We go first to the sitemaps. Okay, here is the list of the URLs found in our sitemaps. And here we can find the list of orphan pages or you can find it here. So these pages couldn't be crawled by Screaming Frog once he followed all the links internally on our website. But these links were added to the sitemaps, which means that they are deemed and considered as orphan pages. So these are a list of pages that I've been running lately and do some testing, paid speed and JavaScript. So if you, if you click here in, in links, so by default, a, an orphan page is a page that have no internal links uh, that point, point into, to, to it. But in fact, it can have either, it can be either linked via the sitemap or via other orphan pages like here. It is linked by our sitemap and by itself, which is an orphan page. Cloudflare, category, and so on. Now we should move to analytics and see the list of our orphan pages, orphan URLs. And here are the pages that were, that were provided and ad added by analytics and couldn't be found by Screaming Frog. You can see the same testing page, JavaScript, and other pages added by uh, WordPress, like this uh, query parameters. In Search Console, yes, in Search Console, there is no orphan page uh, because these pages were added recently and they are not indexed, they are not shown in Google SERP. We can see, for example, this page, okay, JavaScript, open JavaScript, and make a site colloc in order to see if this page is indexed by Google or not. This is actually not the right way to find whether a page is indexed by Google. The right way is to go to uh, Google Search Console and make a an, an inspect inspect URL. <coughs> okay, this is not found for found by not indexed by Google. So to export the list of orphan pages, you can go to reports and export them here. Orphan pages. Yes, safe. Overwrite. Okay. And go to your uh, file and open this Excel file. Okay, and here is the list of the orphan pages found by using the Screaming Frog method. Now, before closing this tutorial, I want to give you one last strategy to find the presence of the presence of orphan pages. So you can use the internal tab here, go to HTML, then look for the crawl depth. It's not easy to find. The crawl depth represents the number of clicks or navigational steps required to reach a particular page. Okay, URLs that, ha that have not been discovered naturally during the crawl will not have a crawl depth. So you will find a blank crawl depth here. Let's go back here and see these 
other orphan pages. Okay, this JavaScript we talked about uh, earlier. Now I wanna export this internal HTML, yes, and and open up another uh, Google Sheet. Mm -hmm. I want to do some filters to this uh, internal HTML. I, I wish I have added file, open. Mm -hmm. Upload, browse, uh, desktop. Okay, desktop, orphan pages, internal HTML. And bear with me, please. Because it's taken longer than expected, I don't know why my computer... Okay. Why? Why I didn't find them? <laughs> Let me do it once again, okay? Ah, here they are. <laughs> I told you that my computer is a little bit slow now. Even if I have one of the latest one. <laughs> okay, now we can go to crawl page... Uh, cr Crawl depth, sorry. Crawl depth here. Okay, so we can look for the crawl depth in Google Sheet. And here are the blank crawl depth cells, which means the orphan pages. I want to add a filter here and filter for blank. Clear all, only the blank would be shown here. And here again, the list of our orphan pages found on our website. I can polish this a little bit and make another filter here to get rid of this uh, query parameters. Okay, filter by condition does not contain an equal, for example. Okay, and here is the final list of our orphan URLs. See you in the next video.